to all of you, my dear children. And this is the last video for class fifth EVS subject, in which the last lesson is on the move again. And this video is about the objectives of uh, this lesson number. This is that is 22. And in this, we will have three objectives. The first objective is to know about the regions why people move from one place to another. And our second objective or the learning outcome is to know about the different problems people face when they move from one place to another. And the third one is to know the different methods of irrigation in agriculture. So let's describe one by one these objectives. The first objective, as you know, why the people move from place to one place to another. I think there are so many reasons why the people leave their own place. The first priority is the livelihood. If you will have the proper livelihood in your own place, then you will never try to leave that place. But if there is a less chances, less opportunities to have a good job or good livelihood in that place, you may plan to move from that place. So this is the main reason, according to me, as per my experience. And another reason is that if your job is private and it is not fixed, and if you want to change your job to a higher scale, then also you have to leave that place. One another reason is that if the person is in a government transferable job, like in the defense, like in the railways or in the central Kendri Vidyalaya schools, then he has to move from one place to another because he has to secure his livelihood and for that he has to move from one place to another. And the one more reason is that the natural calamity, if you are living in a place and if it is flooded and you have lost your everything, then the people might thought that, okay, let's leave this place, leave this place so that we can live in another place happily and in an easygoing life. So these are the some few reasons which make the people to leave their own place and they have to move to earn, to live happily from one place to another. Now let's describe the second objective, to know about the different problems of such people, means the people who have to move from one place to another. The first problem they face is the, is the problem of shelter, means living place. If we move from one city to another, the first priority is where should we live, where we will stay, where we will, we will live with our family. So it is the most common problem they have to face and the second one is livelihood because if you are in a private job you have to seek some another job but if you are in a government job and you have a you have got transfer from one place to another then it is easy to have livelihood as well as the shelter there now in the third priority after having shelter and a livelihood the another problem is the education of their children Yes, because if you are living in a place where no good schools are there or if there are schools so much of high grade that it is not easy to take admission in that, then again it is the problem which people face. Then homesickness. If you are going very far away from your home and we are, um, from your ancestral place, then you may have feel the homesickness and you want to come back to your motherland again and again. So these are few problems, but there's it is not the last, but not the least. There are so many other types of problems people face when we move from one place to another. And the third objective of our lesson is to know about the different types or different methods of irrigation in agriculture. Children, as we know that our country, India, is a land of agriculture as in covid 19 our gdp has 50 percent or more than that depend on it on the agriculture 
and more, about 75 percent of population is still living in the villages and who are doing a very good and very well job so that we are getting food in time so the irrigation methods which are farmers adopt these days are the canal system if the village or that state has a proper canal system then it is very easy and very um, a cheap method to irrigate their uh, crops or the crop fields like this and the another one is the tubal system it is very common in the Uttar Pradesh and Punjab or North India and they pump out the water from the earth and then they irrigate their crop. The another way of irrigation is the sprinkles, the sprinkling method in which this type of sprinkles are set up in the fields and in this way the water is irrigated, the crop is irrigated. In this system the, they can, the farmers can save a lot of water and it is most commonly used in the Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh also. And the, another one is the wheels for water lifting. I think this is the oldest method and in these days in India, this is not very commonly used to irrigate the water. And out of all these, the main source of water is the rain on which our farmers crop irrigation system is totally based. So our India has a agricultural based economy based on the rain and as well as the hard work of our farmers. So get salute to them after the soldiers. They are saving our country at the borders as well as these farmers are saving our country inside the inside our country from get, giving our so much food and so much varieties of uh, vegetables, fruits, and other things to eat. So hats of them and I salute them very well. So children, this is the last video related to the EVS chap subject. I think you have enjoyed all these things and the content given in these in this book is also very nice. So be a good human being, be a good citizen of India. Thank you once again for watching all these videos.